hey guys assalamu alaikum welcome to my youtube channel wandering soul food vlog today's recipe is rather simple um, but quite special <laughs> at the same time it's silk chicken handi some people also call it uh, pakistani uh, reshmi handi some people also call it um, reshmi paneer handi all of these names um, because it's a very um, smooth textured um, handi a um, quarter um, of quarter cup of oil goes in the wok and one sliced onion <clears throat> uh, saute the onion nicely um, now for the ease of the recipe I'm using a wok um, traditionally a handi is used uh, for this recipe um, I prefer doing my cooking in woks because it's easier uh, one green chili goes in there um, and uh, pretty much you put but every single thing that you put you give it a few minutes to uh, to saute one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and once all these three three things start giving very nice aroma you just turn the flame off and put um, three quarter of a cup um, of yogurt in there now i usually beat my yogurt but because i'm going to blend this mixture anyway i didn't i didn't bother uh, once that mixture is um, nicely mixed it just goes straight in the um, in in the blender now at this stage don't worry about cooking the yogurt we'll do that later on um, nicely blend the uh, the uh, the mixture and put it aside 500 grams of chicken breast I've, cu I've cut it in thin pieces one tablespoon of corn flour um, and one teaspoon of salt goes in there nicely mix the mixture um, mix or marinate the chicken and put it aside now in the same wok uh, one tablespoon of oil um, and uh, three tablespoons of um, butter um, now the oil we only use so the butter doesn't burn um, really and that chicken marinated chicken um, goes in the wok you'll notice as you cook this the corn flour will give a very nice coating around the chicken um, and um, that that's what picks up all the flavors um, later on from the gravy um, so this is a very nice trick um, it brings it leaves the chicken quite juicy now another um, onion goes in there and this is an uh, sliced onion the first onion that we used we uh, pretty much blended that um, so this onion will uh, stay in there and we'll um, it'll give a crunch when we eat it I've got half of a capsicum I ended up using quarter of a green capsicum and quarter um, of a red of red capsicum you can use whichever capsicum you like um, you can either even skip capsicum but I quite enjoyed um, capsicum um, and in the original recipe uh, the capsicum does go in there um, now the puree that we prepared of uh, yogurt, onion, um, green chili and uh, ginger garlic paste that goes um, in there and this is when uh, you cook the yogurt now so you have to um, on medium to high heat um, just continuously cook it for 5 to 10 minutes and once the yogurt is cooked you put um, one just a little bit more than one teaspoon of um, white pepper and uh, three quarters of a teaspoon of cumin powder and these pretty much these two and obviously the salt the are the only spices that go in this um, recipe this recipe is a must try <laughs> I was rather like it's one of my favorite um, recipes um, and um, whenever I want to do something special this is what I end up making so towards the end you just adjust the salt now at this stage you want the spices to be a touch more than what you would want it towards the end because we do put um, half a cup of uh, cream in there and that absorbs some of the flavors some of the spices and one cup of cheese I've put a mixture of cheddar mozzarella and parmesan cheese you can use whatever cheese you like you can only use mozzarella and cheddar um, as well if you can't find a mix with parmesan but it was easy enough for me to find um, and I <clears throat> rather really liked the choice of the cheese that I and I used now after you put the cheese and the cream you don't cook it too much um, you just turn the flame off I've put some green chilies um, on top uh, because I like the flavor of green chilies 
and you only like you know just cook it slightly after putting the cream and the cheese once the cheese melts um, you just let it simmer for literally like two to three minutes not even five minutes and um, your recipe is ready um, I've put some butter on top um, before serving um, it looks quite nice um, it tasted as nice as it looks um, if any of my recipes <laughs> that you you should try i must say this is the one that i would like you to try um and let me know how you find it uh, we loved it uh, rather made our dinner quite special um i hope you like it inshallah i'll see you again with the next recipe until then take care bye